My name is Divine Full Equality Earth from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is Cream City. It is important to go to a show and prove when you have knowledge yourself, especially when you're far removed from now why or a strong foundation somewhere. It is important because you, don't, you, you just need it, you know. But at the same time, if you gotta walk by yourself, those are telling times too because you develop character on your own as well. Because I did not really have an earth base. Like I remember the brother I was building with self-wise, I remember I was like, well, how do a earth dress? How does she look? You know, this is pre-cell phone, computer, Google, Facebook, you know, it's pre all of that. You know what I'm saying? So there is no, how do a earth dress? You know, how earth look? And then there, there was no, ref, all I reference I had was Erica Badu. Mm. You know, she's not really the earth. No, right. no, but that right, was, as far as a physical appearance, and I remember, um, and because of what she was building about, she right. did drop the knowledge in her music. Right. You know, and she is a positive sister regardless. Right. The brother I was with, he was like, why don't you go to the mosque? So I ended up going to the mosque in Milwaukee. Mm. Uh, Self Wise gave you, um, uh, suggested that? You said? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. he suggested going to the mosque to get a reference for how women huh. might be. So I went there, but check this out. Mm. Check this out. I went there. Want well, to know what I saw? The women were not covered. Wow. They had on makeup and they had perms. Mm. Now, that don't mean that represented that particular mosque. But I'm just telling you, when I went that particular day, the women that were in that audience, they was not covered. Mm. They had on makeup and they had perms in their hair. And it did mess my head up a little because I was like, wow, okay. Mm. All right. Well, I just came from that. So it's like, right, right. But it was cool. Right, you know, right. it was an experience. And I know that there are. Muslim women that could have represented it's just that particular day they wasn't there. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I it my style was very weird because okay. I didn't have nothing to reference off of and except for like an Arab Badu or maybe like, Yeah, you know. and if that I don't even think that happened right away. Mm. Like I remember I would shop at thrift stores, I would wear polyester suits, um, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> I would wear this same head wrap with a polyester suit, stack boots. Um, my style was crazy because I did, uh, what I was doing was throwing off what I had before. And it really wasn't on purpose. It was just, I was like a butterfly. Um, you blossoming, but you transitioning. transitioning. And, that, and there's a song that the guys in D-Mecca got. About, it's the, the group Sun Tzu Cadre. I don't know if you ever heard of them. They got a song called Transitions. Man, had I had that song way back then, oh my God, that would have helped me so many times. It would have gave me the confidence, but it's but that's okay because it, it still gave me the confidence to keep moving. Like it didn't discourage me. I lost friends because when I changed my hair, it was like, oh my God, it used to be so pretty. Um, or just, what are you about? Like, uh, I can't do that. So I don't really got no friends from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like I could have held on and try, just stuck by them, and but it, I, See, my feelings was hurt. Oh, you, feel, okay. you know, so I took it personal, and I was just like, mm. I gotta say this, fuck y'all, then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to say that I had to have that mentality for whatever reason because there really was no support system. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like me against the world. I like this synth mega, do it again. Do it.